Oh yeah. Oh my god. Oh, oh look at this. Lemon <laughs> zest. <laughs> Come on! As a chef, I've been cooking seafood from the North Pacific, from Haida Gwaii my entire career. Now to actually be here for the first time is just such an incredible gift. Let's go fishing. All right. Haida Gwaii, there's something here that connects you to Mother Nature. What's the size of Hallie we're allowed to keep? You're permitted two per trip and up to 90 centimeters. They want the large guys to be left in the ocean because they are good breed stock. They are breed stock, yeah. Oh! Oh, it popped off. They just took, they took the food. We call it fishing for a reason. It's not catching. The Holly. Yes. It's we must immediately measure it and record it on your license. 79 centimeters. Perfect. I feel very fortunate to be able to harvest this fish from the wild. Do it in a responsible way. One hook, one line, one fisherman. Can't wait to cook it. I'm here with my good friend, Chef Curtis from Langara Fishing Lodge. Today we decided to have a, a shore lunch, right? Let's see how it plays out. The thing about beach cooking is you just go for it, man. Sure. We're just gonna season the fish both sides. A little bit of salt, some lemon, a little bit of oil, some fresh thyme. We got some kelp, we've wrapped it. Steam all those delicious flavors into the fish. A little, a little bit of burnt doesn't hurt. Come on, who deglazes in the beach? <laughs> we have morel mushrooms, baby turnips, sea beans, spruce tip, and lemon butter roasted fish. This is gonna be amazing. I love to cook fish and feed people delicious, healthy, sustainable things. If you live on the south coast and you wanna buy some fish, you can start by asking the question, who caught it? How was it caught? Where was it caught? When was it caught? What is it? Right, a couple of simple questions and you can be a part of the larger conversation in protecting an ecosystem.